So, so here's the legendary relaxed story that I have. Um, I, I, I probably told this on a podcast before, but it's probably been a long time. Back in high school uh, in Clearwater, Florida, and in, in, at Countryside, we used to have a big thing that, that that popped up our last two years there called lip sync. I don't. You guys have lip sync competitions? No, but you've you've told us that you guys did a lip sync. Yeah. We did a lip sync. So, yeah. so it would be a huge production, and they would it would be like they would sell out the auditorium. You know, like everybody in the school would be there. It would be a nighttime performance. They had you know. Uh, How small was your town? No, 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 no. It was <laughs> no. I'm going to live in a small two, town. Two thousand people. Kidding, two thousand people like in my this. high school. 2000 people. Oh my God! See, I can't talk. There was only there was only 400 people in yeah, my high school. 2000, so everybody's there. Keep in mind too that every school in the county did this. In fact, there was one yeah. company that basically went around producing them, and so well, they had like, concert yeah. lighting and they had uh, dry ice and they had the whole nine yards. So if you Jeez. you basically went out there, they had a drum set. You took your instruments out there. I mean, it pumped out the music like it's a concert, and well, you went well, out there well. and you did your song. Yeah. And so people did, uh, you know, I remember a, a group of friends did Van Halen. Uh, there was a group that did, you know, uh, U2 and all this kind of stuff. And the first year that we did it, my, me and my friends, we did the Blues Brothers, Soul Man. And nice. I think we came in, I think we came in third. Um, you had the suits, right? I mean, you just, you dressed yeah, yeah, up yeah. and everything. Yeah, right? and then okay. we had and the whole chatting. backing band. I'm surprised we, we didn't do it better. But um, so our senior year comes and we really want to, to blow people away and we decided we're going to do frankie goes to hollywood because we're kind of obsessed with them they're they're peaking just about the right time because this would have been our our uh, spring semester of our senior year so we're trying to figure out what song and i'm like oh come on let's we've got to do two tribes because relax is going to be it's going to be over with by the time we do this thing people are going to be tired of hearing it we're going to get booed so so for the first like three or four weeks we practiced two tribes <laughs> It's it's just not coming across. It just looks awkward. It looks stupid. And finally, we kind of realized that that relax is still kind of at the top of the chart. So we we changed it the last minute. We you had to you actually had to audition for this. So we had to go in front of uh, the newspaper staff sponsored it. So we had to go in front of the whole like little newspaper advisory board. We we practiced the song like twice, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> So um, you're all set. You're yeah, it's go. like high school. Yeah, yeah. So, it's just and so right. we, we do it. Why, why, we, that's two times more than you And it's either. awful. <laughs> it's awful. We completely botch it. But all of our friends sit on the council. So we, the only the only concern they had that the one newspaper advisor, the teacher said, "You're not going to emphasize the word come, are you?" <laughs> <laughs> like, no, of course no, not. No, why would no, we do that? Why, why that? Yes, <laughs> we're, we're but we're all we'll gentlemen. So they they let us in, and we're the last act to go up there. And everyone's rooting for you too, because they they had done like all the previous lip syncs, and they had saved Sunday Bloody Sunday for last. That was going to be their opus, you know. That's going to be their their thesis, man. So they had the white flag and everything, and the whole crowd's going ape shit crazy, you know. Oh, you two's going to win, but we come in like two two spots after them, and we have redecorated the stage completely. We have gigantic Frankie banners that are hanging down behind us. Did we they say the, relax? It's got all the crazy imagery from the album on it. Yeah. Like these little okay. stick figures holding these banners. And the whole school we covered with uh, banners that said all the gibberish from the middle of the album. I mean, it was all like this humongous propaganda effort. So everyone <laughs> wanted to know what the hell is going to happen. And we told the guy running the uh, the dry ice machine, we're like, run it till, run it, till it runs out. So they introduce us and, and the, the curtains come open and it's like, whoa, this cloud of of dry ice sweeps over the crowd, you know, you know, and the, and the opening refrains of relaxed start and everyone just starts going crazy and the thump, 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 and then the lights start pulsing and stuff like that. And immediately on stage, I was playing the bass player, but uh, my mouth goes completely dry because I'm like, this, I've never been in front of this many people doing something like this and having everyone go nuts crazy. So we make it through the song, and of course we don't de-emphasize the word come. I mean, the lead singer goes right to the front of the stage. He's like, come, rah. You know, <laughs> the crowd's just like, ah. You know, and, and so so it ends. You know, we go off stage. We think we did a fairly good job, you know, and um, they bring all the three finalists out on the stage, and in third place is some, you know, who I don't even remember. Bananarama. Losers. Yeah, Losers. The so they, second losers. So they named so in second place is and I'm like, here it comes, we're gonna give you second place. And they say second place, you too, with Sunday Bloody Sunday. And suddenly we realize we f- won. 
<laughs> you know, and you two realizes they fucking lost. <laughs> wow. And so the crowd's just like, huh? huh? I mean, at one who point, voted though? I mean, who 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 were the they judges? Had a, they had a judging panel that was like um, people who worked at record stores and uh, tape, you know, record and tape outlet. Oh my god, stuff like that. So people who kind that of judge's like, name, no, yeah. Nina Vivanetto. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> but literally, some people who kind of knew music, you know, and so they decided. When they announced us, it was kind of like a half explosion, half booing of the crowd. But we didn't care. I mean, we were just kind of like, holy crap. So uh, it was, it was for the, the long. Yeah. And, for, and as a result of winning, you got to go on tour and open up lip sync competitions at other high schools around Tampa Bay. So we went to like Pinellas Park High School or Clearwater High School and a couple of middle schools. And we performed our little shtick in front of the crowd. And it was fun. That's cool. That's it was very like, cool. That was like our claim to fame. You know, I remember graduating high school thinking, if nothing else, I had Frankie Goes to Hollywood lip sync. Yeah.